From the city to the counties to your neighborhood. Now, complete coverage on WJZ 13, Maryland's news station. Tonight, state workers are calling for Governor Martin O'Malley to consider all options before making more budget cuts. Political reporter Pat Warren is in Annapolis with more on what they are calling for. The state has a rainy day fund of about $750 million. Now, that fund is the state government's equivalent of an emergency fund or a savings account. And state employees think it's about time the governor dipped into it. In March, the union cry was no furloughs. Now, in a round of furloughs and in advance of possibly more, AFSCME is back. No more cuts! No more cuts! The American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees is calling on the governor and General Assembly to plug the holes in the budget with money from the state's rainy day fund. It is raining out there and we need some shelter from the storm. But it's not raining hard enough for Governor O'Malley. We're looking at all options. It's always tempting to say, boy, it's raining really, really hard. But there were those two years ago who said we should eat into the rainy day fund. And we saw that uh, uh, we did the right thing at that time to protect it. And I think we still need to protect it. And that's where the rest of AFSCME's plan comes in. Raise revenue from various new and increased taxes. You cannot cut ourselves out of this problem, which seems to be the the uh, mantra or the philosophy, um, and therefore they need to look at these other revenues. They need to, to stand up and, and face the critics and, and uh, go to it. State workers, meanwhile, are feeling the pressure between their own welfare and the political will. Raise the revenues. I know it's unpopular, as I said in my statement, but I think that's the only thing that can be done. Definitely. The state workers are definitely bearing a big burden in their pockets. It could be a tough sell for the union. Number one, it's an election year when there's virtually no chance of getting a new tax passed. And number two, the state needs that rainy day fund for its AAA bond rating. Reporting from Annapolis, I'm Pat Warren. Now back to you on Television Hill. And the state faces a $2 billion deficit.